Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And today's gift to you for me is this video, this guided meditation on how to listen to your body. Uh, we will discuss different relationships you can have with your body. How to involve your body in decision making. Uh, I will also uh, finish with the guided meditation. We will ask your body a list of the most important questions. You know, why uh, would we want to do this meditation? Well, you know, for maintenance or feeling better. You know, some of us uh, want to heal some always, you know, or we want to optimize our body for sports. Uh, or we are interested in uh, your, my, our spiritual evolution. And first of all, can we talk and listen to our body and well, examples uh, would be uh, yogis that can adjust their heart rate, you know, their body temperature. You know, fakirs, you know, can do pain control and uh, blood control. And then, of course, there is the uh, mental training of elite soldiers like Navy SEALs and, uh, you know, other, you know, more covered projects. So, um, what are the different types of relationships we can have with our bodies? Well, sometimes, you know, we will use our body like an amusement park and, <laughs> you know, on all you can eat buffet. And um, also, sometimes we overindulge and use our body as a brothel. Uh, so, you know, for sense enjoyment. Um, you know, this is what many people do and are addicted to. Uh, some uh, people use their body or relate to your body like a drill sergeant, like our bodybuilders, you know, that don't care for the pain, that are very strict. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just like a drill sergeant. And, uh, you know, our body is uh, like an obedient horse, you know, it will you know, give its last breath, you know, to obey a strong mind, in a way. So, uh, but personally, you know, I like to relate to my body, um, it's like in a loving way, you know, as my uh, best friend, uh, like for instance, in a massage, you know, you can uh, press too hard and it hurts, and or you can press too little and uh, there's not much effect so you know the ideal uh, pressure is kind of in the ah zone you know where everything is just ah, it just feels good and it feels right you know so this is you know the level that i try to achieve in my relationship with the body also in my work i've seen that in dna and cells and organs have their own individual consciousness and respond to um, light, to love, to chi, um, to the inner smile that's described in the Taoist, uh, 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 as well as you know other forms of communication you know with your body. And uh, well, personally, um, I once read an interesting story uh, or analogy um, where the city is compared to a, a body. You know, you have a wall around the body or the city, uh, you know, which is the skin and you have trees and you have traffic ways, you know, you have communication systems like the nerves. And um, each uh, cell of the body actually has its own consciousness. And, uh, you know, and so those cells, they combine into like bigger structures like organs, like the liver or the kidneys or bones. And so they have collectives, you know, of similar intent, which are like factories, you know, or other, you know, corporations. And uh, so your consciousness uh, can go and visit uh, these aspects of your body, those cells, um, even your DNA or bones or joints, and send them love or chi or smile at them. And it is as if, uh, you know, 
the king of a city or the queen of a city, you know, walks around in neighborhoods that are traumatized and, you know, hands out uh, big wads of cash, you know, here, honey, <laughs> you know, fix up your front yard, you know, get a, you know, get a good massage, you know, eat vitamins and healthy, you know, I love you, you know, if you need anything, we will support you. So, you know, um, neighborhoods will heal like that uh, quite fast. So, um, you know, I suggest that you uh, watch my videos on how to heal with love and others, you know, where you project love into areas. Um, then, of course, you know, your body obviously communicates with you already, um, you know, through hunger, thirst, pleasure, pain, <laughs> fatigue, etc. Uh, but even here, we have to pay uh, close attention, you know. Is it hunger or boredom or a substitute for love that makes us eat? Yeah. So uh, mindfulness and being in the moment, you know, is the general idea here of listening to the body. And... But then, then also, hopefully, you know, you have experienced, you know, a full progressive body relaxation as it is traditionally used in past life regression. You know, if not, you know, you will enjoy, you know, this guided meditation here um, later on. So, in a progressive relaxation, you also listen to your body and become aware of how tense you are here and there, you know, especially in places where you haven't even looked before. You know. And, um, you know, all this should be actually quite uh, common knowledge, you know, for my kind of audience. So, here are some tools of listening to your body that are not so much mainstream knowledge. And uh, first of all, I uh, suggest to use the uh, pendulum and a chart, as you can see here. So here we have a pendulum chart, um, you know, which is, uh, shows in degrees from 0 over 50 percent to 100. And so this can be used for a variety of purposes. And uh, this is here a pendulum. Um, and if you want to like know more about it, you know, refer to the uh, video that is linked. Uh, but basically, um, I ask that only my high self and best guys answer me for my highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, that there will be no deception for me. Amen, 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 amen. Let's see if I'm connected here with my high self. Yes, it shows 100%. Okay, and I proceed. Let's just give it a, a test. So, you know, here we have, um, let's say, kitchen salt. Actually, this is sea salt. Like, um, you know, how much uh, should I take any sea salt at the moment? Here, is this anything that I'm lacking? And <laughs> so 10%. So this is obviously not something I'm lacking. Um, let's say here we having um, bio um, plasma, a homeopathic uh, combination of cell salt, and uh, is this something that uh, my body would like? And um, this looks like yummy, yummy. It's going into the 90 percent. All right. So um, let's see. Here we have uh, some candy. Uh, how would my body like to have this here to consume this? And I mean, it's quite obvious it's going down, you know, into the 20%. Right? And now here we have a, a lung tonic. Let's say, would my body like to have some drops of this, like 10 drops? 10 drops would be 60, 70%. How about 5 drops? Five drops. You would love five drops. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So here we go. Of course, we can use the pendulum, you know, to find out how many uh, low squats our body would like to do, you know, for optimum benefit, 
or whether you know he is allergic to certain things and of course you know use caution I mean don't do stupid things uh, you know don't pendle out the mortgage or things like this <laughs> uh, but um, you know so this is uh, one way of, of communicating with your body uh, then the other way is that I also like, uh, you know, especially when I cannot use a pendulum, which is quite often, you know, it's uh, like I ask my body a yes or no question. And uh, for my body, you know, yes is leaning forward and no is leaning backwards. Um, of course, you know, my spine should be um, balanced nicely uh, in the middle, and so I don't put you know, a bias uh, on my body. And uh, I uh, try to squat my mind, go into the heart, and let's say, uh, your body, would you like to uh, run uh, five miles tonight? And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just, you know, uh, curls backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, drinking a lot of charged up water? Yeah, he, he likes that a lot more. Okay, so this is uh, one simple method. Uh, another one um, that I like, when I have to compare objects, um, let's say you, I have um, two um, products of the same type, let's say two types of uh, vitamin C, right? And I don't know which one is more compatible with my body. You know, I hold one on my left side, I hold one on my right side, and I close my eyes and I project myself into my hands, you know, and uh, project my chi into those objects. And then I ask my body, you know, what do you want, left or right? And generally there comes an answer. And I ask, you know, two, maybe two more, three more times. And, you know, sometimes I switch it around and see you know, if I'm in the zone, if it, you know, follows. And, uh, you know, then I go by the judgment. So that's uh, one very nice thing of doing so. And um, so now if you are very psychic, you know, you can hear your high self um, and you have impressions, you know, you are an empath, um, you can just uh, follow along with a guided meditation. Uh, if you're not so psychic, I suggest you use a pendulum uh, if you know how to use one. And so this video focuses on analyzing and looking for causes that have not been considered before. And not so much on clearing, you know, though some clearing will probably happen if you start listening to your body. So, you know, please set up your pendulum, you know, or sit in a comfortable office chair and balance your body so that everything nicely stacks up. Uh, it is uh, very difficult to enjoy bliss and go into an alpha state when your back hurts or when you are slumping. So, uh, please uh, use your earbuds or headphones to cancel out outside distractions. Uh, do not drive or operate heavy machinery. Uh, smile like an Indian and reside in your heart. You will not have access to higher dimensions unless you vibrate at a certain love frequency. And please breathe at a pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils that will give you sufficient light force. Uh, you do not have to repeat my affirmation, you know, just think or say Amen when you say Amen, uh, but please mean it, right? And uh, also be in a childlike state of innocence during this guided meditation. Uh, pay attention to what pops into your awareness, uh, and do not judge or try to rationalize at that moment. You know, you can always do that at the end of the meditation. And now ask that everything that happens and comes from this meditation is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And that uh, our high selves 
uh, be with us, our spirit guides, our guardian angels, you know, absolute supreme being source. You know, make sure that we are safe and, um, you know, have the right impression that there is no deception. Amen, amen, amen. And now smile and imagine that you extend on your spine and your legs like big tap roots into the earth and they very eagerly grow deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth and they fringe out into smaller and smaller roots. And now on the inhale you imagine as if you're drawing red love from the earth, red energy from the earth through those roots like through straws into your whole body. It comes in at your root and goes up your spine but it just flows and floods through your body and ultimately through your whole force field. So just go ahead. All the wind and all the way up. Now you gradually start pulling in orange energy through those roots from Mother Earth. And you just feel yourself, your spine, your body your force filled with this orange energy, let it be completely saturated. Now you start pulling in golden energy from Mother Earth through those roots and fill yourself up, fill up your spine, your solar plexus, your whole body and your whole force field as if you become a son of golden light and smile like an idiot. And now put your tongue onto the palate and imagine drawing in through the top of your head a turquoise color into your body. Just deep inhale and keep drawing in this turquoise color into your spine and then into your body and into your force field. And smile like an idiot while you're doing it. And now you start pulling in lapis lazuli blue through your crown, through the top of the head. This beautiful, rich lapis lazuli blue Feel your spine, and feel your body, and feel your whole force field. And now you draw a pink, greenish, swirly color from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. Then expand it in your heart and smile like an idiot. And just keep pumping and sucking that wonderful love from heaven and earth into your heart. And fill your whole body up. 
expand it into the egg-shaped form surrounding you, the force field around you. Now you invoke a subpersonality into your front. This would be the advanced monkey body, you know, that you inhabit. You are a spirit being, a mind being of subtle energy vibration. And this that we are invoking is your meat body, the intelligent monkey body that does a lot of function automatically. And that is a lot smarter than us. So we ask it to be in front of us now. Amen. And we smile at it. And we pull in love from heaven and earth into our heart. And send it to our advanced monkey body, to our physical body in front of us. And we smile and just keep pumping that love into his or her heart. And we smile like an idiot and just give this love to him and we thank him or her for all these years of service up to now. Going to work every day. <laughs> you know, running in sports, giving its best, or being in unhealthy environments for so long, like factories or cars or in front of computers, away from the sunlight, or being in unhealthy positions, you know, for the body, bad posture, and, you know, anxiety, <laughs> slumped over, um, all those things. And also we apologize for gouging ourselves and having our poor body digest too much food or having to digest incompatible food or toxic food, you know, junk food, you know, uh, all those things. So just really, really, really thank your servant and just smile at him and send him love and you can hug him or her and send love into the root and into the legs and into the head. Just enjoy it. And now, oh, you know, while you still project love into your body, uh, let's ask your body to give you a yes symbol answer. You know, this could be a thumbs up, this could be a smile, or an uplifting feeling, or a nod of the head, you know, if you can see. Uh, or you may just hear it in your, in your head. Or it's just a positive feeling for the yes and a negative feeling for the no. Okay. And now let's just start with something easy. <coughs> mm -hmm. And uh, so let's ask, you know, whether, <laughs> let's ask about dairy products, right? So some of us are addicted to cheese, you know, especially uh, vegetarians. And, uh, and uh, some of us uh, may need a little uh, cheese or, you know, uh, dairy products, uh, maybe milk, who knows. Uh, and uh, some of us may be allergic to dairy products, so who knows, right? So let's ask our body, you know, so uh, if a hundred is like he has way too much, right, and if fifty is is just the right balance, and if zero is kind of no, you know, he really needs that stuff really bad. <laughs> so fifty is kind of the sweet zone, you know. Uh, let's ask your body how much. Uh, dairy products, you know, how is your dairy product balance? How many percent? Ask now. Amen. Uh, 
Okay. I hope you got an answer if you got one. Let's ask how are you doing on grains? You know, 50 being perfect balance, zero uh, being uh, if you really need some, and 100 being phew, way, way too much. So, how many percent are we doing on brown rice or grains now? Even? All right. And let's go to fruits. How are we doing on fruits? 100, way too much, zero, very strongly needed. How many percent? Ask now. Amen. And how are we doing on our vegetable balance? 50 being the best. 100 too much, zero, way too little. And how about uh, animal proteins? How are we doing there? 100, way too much, 50, good balance, zero. Oh, you really need <laughs> some. <laughs> and how are we doing on plant based protein like beans? Ask now, hey man. And how are we doing on roughage, like popcorn, fiber, 50 being ideal, zero, oh God, eat, eat good fiber, and 100, no, <laughs> skip the raisin bread, how much is it? Right. Now how are we doing on salt? And I advise you use sea salt, but how are we doing on salt? Ask now. And sugar? Ask now. And here are some good spices that can be very healthy. How are we doing on cayenne? 50 being ideal. It's a great tonic. How about turmeric pills? 50 being, or turmeric, 50 being ideal. And how much are we doing on ginger? With 50 being ideal. Ginger is also very good, anti inflammatory, etc. Alright, more about supplements. Are you getting enough? Omega-3 fatty acids, 50 being ideal. How about vitamin C, pill form or fruit, doesn't matter, 50 being ideal. And now ask about vitamin D3, the sunshine antidepressant <laughs> vitamin with 50 being ideal. You can take pills or go in the sun. Uh -huh. And how about the vitamin B group with 50 being ideal? Brewers East is a good natural way of getting that. And Ask about water, you know, just normal purified water, you know, 50 being ideal. How are we doing there? Alright, now how about treated water like lemon juice or green tea or charged water? 50 being ideal. How about alcohol? So alcohol in certain uh, quantities um, is actually really good for metabolism, etc. has a lot of good function and has, of course, in certain quantities, very bad effects. So with 50 being ideal, uh, how are we doing on alcohol? And 
end, as we are as with forbidden drinks, how about drinking sodas <laughs> with 50 being ideal? I mean, I don't know. Uh, but a hundred being, oh my God, you know, and just drink water. So how are we doing on sodas? And how are we doing on general vitamin supply? How about general mineral supply? And if you uh, go over 50, you probably have to drink more water so to flush out stuff. Mm -hmm. And how are we doing on the gluttony starvation scale? So 50 being perfect balance, uh, zero being completely anorexic, and 100 being, you know, the glutton. All right. And how are we doing on smoking, you know, even recreational, and for some people, maybe smoking recreationally here and there might be a good thing, so just ask without bias. Okay, and how about the balance of sloth and overactivity, you know, 50 being ideal, you know, 100 is like your couch potato and zero means you're just zipping around too much take a break and now of course sexual indulgence uh, good sex can be very invigorating uh, but also too much sex uh, can be debilitating you know wasting your life force and spending too much time. Um, so how are we doing? This 50 being, you know, ideal for you in terms of flushing your organism and having a good time and 100 just, you know, stay away, stay away, be celibate. <laughs> how are we doing there? And now this is a kind of a weird question, but I thought it was interesting. Ask how your general body condition is compared to the population of the same age in your area. You know? It's like from 100 is like your top and zero is like you are the bottom of the barrel. Now let's ask, how was your general body condition compared to your own, let's say, easy balance, you know, at the age that you're at? And with easy balance, I don't mean, you know, you're doing anything extreme or fanatically. Easy balance, you know, you, you, know, you do a little yoga, a little stretching, and, you know, just, um, you know, nothing, nothing too extreme. That's why I call it easy balance. So, how are we doing there from 100 to 0? 100 being top notch. <laughs> and now we will go through our body parts and, uh, you know, assess, you know, their condition. It's like the king or queen of the city is going around through the neighborhoods and taking inventory, you know, patting on backs. So this is going to be rather fast, so, you know, be intuitive, you know, be relaxed, you know, don't be too uptight about anything, you know. If you see patterns, you know, it should be quite clear, you know. So how are we doing on your feet, you know, 100% would be healthy, zero would be really bad, right? So how are your feet ranging in general? And let's see, you know, what resonates. So if you're, you got a bad reading, you know, on that, so it's just due to this life trauma, like lifestyle, old age, yes or no. 
And, oh well, yeah, let's include this also, the far out stuff, you know, uh, maybe uh, supernatural uh, things like voodoo dolls, curses, uh, magic devices, right? Or even uh, entities, parasites, ghosts. Or is it due to root causes from past life trauma? Is it physical, emotional, supernatural, like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, ghost entities, or parasites? Mm -hmm. How about the knee? How is your knee? Or how are your knees done rating? From 0 to 100, 100 being the best, amen. And if it's from this lifetime, what's the root cause? Trauma, lifestyle, old age, supernatural, curses, magic devices, entities, Past life trauma, physical, emotional, supernatural, curses, magic devices, ghost, entity, parasites. How about your legs? How are your legs rating from 1 to 100? If there are problems, is it past lifetime, this lifetime? Is it trauma, physical, emotional, supernatural like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, ghost entities or parasites? How about your hip? From zero to hundred. What are the root causes? Past lifetime, this lifetime. Is it trauma, physical, emotional, supernatural, curses, magic devices, ghost, entity, parasites? How is your spine rating? Yeah, the spine is messed up there, it creates a lot of problems. From zero to a hundred. And is it due to, if it's bad, root causes, past lifetime, this lifetime? Physical trauma, emotional trauma, supernatural like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, ghosts, entities parasites. Okay, and how about your, your shoulders? Is it past lifetime, this lifetime? Is it emotional? Is it trauma? Is it lifestyle? Old age? Supernatural, curses, magic, devices, entities, ghost, parasites. How about the neck or throat area? From zero to one hundred. Lots of people have problems with this. Most of them from past lifetime. Let's just ask. So the root cause of your neck and throat problems this lifetime or past lifetime, majority. Hmm. Now is it from trauma, like murder, cutting, hanging, suffocating, drowning, lifestyle, like throat, throat cancer, old age, Supernatural, like voodoo doll, curses, magic devices, ghost, entity, parasites.
head sask about the breast and armpits that's where all the lymph is that leads to breast cancer how is the condition from 0 to 100 100 being in top notch condition and if you have bad rating there what is the root cause is it trauma from this lifetime or past lifetime Is it physical trauma, emotional trauma, supernatural like voodoo doll, curses, magic devices, ghost, entities, parasites? And now let's ask about the head. How are we doing on the head? Hundred being the best, zero the worst. And if it's not good, <laughs> what's the root cause? This lifetime or past lifetime? Is it trauma, lifestyle, old age, supernatural stuff, curses, magic devices? ghost entities, parasites, like archons, maybe, ring a bell. Let's ask about the pineal gland. What's the condition? 100 being optimal Zero being shut down, third eye blind. How are we rating? And if you're not a hundred percent, what's the root cause for this? Where is the root cause this lifetime or past lifetimes? And is it from physical trauma? Is it from emotional trauma? Is it from vows? Or supernatural causes like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, ghosts, entities, parasites? How about your eyes? 100% being eagle vision, 0% yeah, blind. <laughs> How are you rating? And if you're rating back, bad, you know, what's the root cause? A past life trauma or this life trauma? Of course, there's old age for everybody. But is it physical? For some of you, it's emotional. You know, especially the ones with the Coke bottle glasses, you know, many times it's stuck emotions, seeing too much bad stuff. Uh, this is supernatural, like voodoo dolls, maybe vows or curses, magic devices, ghosts, entities, parasites. How about your teeth? How are you reading from 100 to 0? And of course there's old age and wear and tear. But if it's something, you know, pretty bad, you know, is it from past life trauma or this life trauma? Is it physical, emotional trauma? Supernatural stuff like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, ghost entities, or parasites. And how about your lungs? A lot of people that have lung problems have drowned in past lifetimes or been burned 
or been suffocated in some way, some have been uh, buried alive, you know, as servants to royalty, etc. So um, there can be all kinds of reasons. So lungs, what's if you how you're waiting from zero to one hundred? And what's the root cause if it's not so good? Is it this life trauma or past life trauma? Is it through lifestyle like smoking? <laughs> or working in a coal mine? Or old age? Or past life trauma? Or supernatural stuff like voodoo dolls? or curses, magic devices, ghosts, entities, parasites. Okay, now how about the urinary systems and just like roll in, you know, your sexual organs, like including, you know, uterus, ovaries, testicles, prostate. Um, there has been a lot of trauma from past lifetimes in my experience in this area. Whether it's from rape or castration or birth going wrong. And uh, in the survived gamut of stuff that gets stuck there. So, how are we doing with this whole reproductive system on one to a hundred. Yeah. And if you have having any issues, this is due to this life trauma or past life trauma in the majority. And is that trauma physical, emotional? supernatural like voodoo dolls curses magic devices like certain sex magic too ghost entities parasites cordings especially cordings mm -hmm. All right. And how are we doing on the thyroid gland? Let's just get it from 0 to 100. And how about the thymus gland? From 0 to 100, thymus being top-notch conditions. And now, how are we doing on the heart? You know, such an important organ. Also, emotionally, one of the most important aspects of us. Hmm? So, from one to a hundred. One being you should be dead, and one hundred, uh, you know. <laughs> you have the heart of a long distance runner, right? Well, and of course, enlarged can be also a problem, but you know, optimal condition. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? And if you have any problems there, is the root cause from this lifetime or mostly from past lifetimes? And if it's from past lifetime or this lifetime, doesn't matter, is it due to a broken heart? This traumatized, broken heart, emotionally abandoned, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe it's just lifestyle, you know, fat and lazy, or old age, supernatural things like voodoo dolls, curses, magic devices, 
ghost entities, parasites, cords, or just plain old stabbing, killing, you know, stuff like that. heart is an important one. So now the liver gallbladder, how are we doing there on 100 to 0? And the liver and gallbladder, they kind of govern our anger and our toxins. Sometimes other people's anger, they carry that. So. How we're doing there on and now the root causes be, you know if you have a bad liver, is it mostly from this lifetime trauma or past lifetime? And is the root cause in lifestyle like alcoholism or you have to take a lot of medicines? Is it old age? Is it toxicity in your environment that you're not even aware of? Maybe bad drinking water? Or is it just, you know, emotional? You're a very angry, toxic person. Huh? Or is it something like a voodoo doll, supernatural curses? Magic devices, ghost entities, parasites. And how are we doing on the spleen? Spleen being top notch, 100% to zero. And again, is it from past lifetimes or this lifetime? If it's bad, is it diet, lifestyle, trauma? Curses, supernatural, like Wudu doll, magic devices, old age. Maybe it's just emotional stuff. Or is it through ghosts or parasites? Now we have the pancreas. How are we doing from zero to one hundred? And is it from past lifetime or this lifetime? And by now you probably have the hangover in and just ask what the root cause is, huh? I hope you got some answers and let's just ask about the kidneys and adrenals. You know, that's our life force, our fight or flight. Uh, how are we doing on our kidneys and life force department from 0 to 100 now? And if there's any damage to it, just ask what the root cause is now. And now ask about the stomach, how are we are waiting there, from 0 to 100. And if it's not so good, ask for the root cause. And let's ask now about the small intestines, from 0 to 100. And if it was bad, ask for the root cause.
And now ask about the large intestines from 0 to 100. And if it's not so good, ask for the root cause. And it could be anything from roughage, not enough roughage, to not letting go. <laughs> or maybe even harakiri, right? And now let's ask about our circulation system, the arteries and the veins, the cardiovascular system. You know, getting so much clogged up nowadays with the modern uh, junk food consumption. So how are we doing from 100, you know, everything is squeaky clean to zero, you know, you should be dead, uh, you know, and your heart should be enlarged. How are we doing there? And asked for the root cause. And let's ask for the lymph system. You know, the lymph system is a passive system, it gets activated through physical motion, like jumping, jogging, you know, color, you know, working. And uh, so it's a sewer system, you know, where all the toxins are transported out. Uh, so the lymph system is very, very important. And um, so how is our lymph system rating? 100% being super clean and, you know, zero is just a stuffed up sewer. And if it's not so good, what are the root causes? Just ask about it. And now let's ask about the nervous system, you know. So that could be the brain, but also, you know, the nerves running through our body, you know, also the spinal column. The good stuff in the spinal column that transmits the impulses. So how are we doing from zero to 100? And what is the root cause? Sometimes it can be toxicity. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how are we doing on the meridian system? That's the system that Chinese medicine focuses on. From 0 to 100. And if it's not good, what are the root causes for the misfunction? And ask how you're doing on the Nadi system. That's the uh, Indian Vedic concept of other levels of chi flowing through your body. Just ask from 0 to 100. And if it says a misfunction, just ask what's the root cause. And now ask also about the chakra system. How is that functioning from 0 to 100? And if there's big misfunction, you know, uh, what is the root cause? And it's probably quite complicated. <laughs> But uh, if it's off, you know, just uh, check out my video on the macrocosmic orbit and uh, general breath work too. All right, so I hope uh, that you received a lot of new insight. And I will count to three and you will be back at Waking Day Consciousness. Completely relaxed, full of energy remembering everything that you experienced. One, two, three. Back into your body. 
And I hope that this meditation gave you some new insight into the state of your body, you know, from a wider perspective than before. And for some of you, there may be some stern warnings, right? So you can make your own adjustments, you know, after, of course, consulting with your physician, you know. And uh, there are a lot of, uh, there's a very wide range of modalities that you could use. You know, but again, before you apply anything, please consult your physician. I am not giving medical advice. I'm in no way responsible for your actions. I'm not your father. I'm not your guru or your physician. Uh, but uh, what to do when the root cause is often an issue that comes from a past lifetime or this uh, supernatural you know, or maybe from a curse. Um, so this is kind of a, a case, you know, where spiritual healing by people like me can be helpful. Uh, personally, I offer a wide range of, you know, free guided meditation here on YouTube, you know, over a hundred. So you can find a lot of support from there. But you can also treat yourself to a private Skype session, you know, my prices are very reasonable uh, just go to my website or send me an email you know if you respond well to the Gata meditation please subscribe ring the bell you know and enjoy my other videos too I love you namaste